हेलो पुनः सर सो मैम मैम सर सो मैम मैम बस वन सेक पुनः सर
really see you know, at the airport without the book. So I think we were all in Paris, really, my sister included. We all had different genres. You know, my mother loved thrillers and murder mysteries. My sister loved romance novels. Um, so all of us had different choices when it came to books that we read, but we were always reading. And today, how you say no phones allowed at the dining table, there used to be no books allowed at the dining table because that was when you know we would talk to each other as a family. And how do you how do you keep this legacy going ahead with uh, now being parents, right? Uh, do you encourage your children to read, or, or how do you develop that habit? Bad job. Bad job. Bad job. Well, uh, I for one never liked reading. It's not a choice for this. I was forced to read them. I used to like to like look at pictures, and that's why I love books. The only thing aside from books that I wanted to read was the menu so that I knew what I was eating because I couldn't actually look at the pictures but I uh, developed, uh, I won't say a passion but I started enjoying reading when I was in my teens. I wasn't much of a reader but of course after I met her and I saw the extensive library that was there. I said, there are these people's contribution and I said, so I started reading a, a few more but Inaya, uh, she just loves to, although she can't read, she just now started streaming words to the other like, but uh, she just wants, uh, her morning begins with telling me a story, read me a book. Uh, she loves to look at the pictures also, but now she's so, because she reads those couple of books again and again, she knows exactly what the story is. So if I try to cheat, because before bedtime, she often would pick up a book which is very long. So I would try to do my own version and I just run through it. And she would know, where did that go? This that never happened. So I think I started reading a lot more now, because I read to her. And that's something that Suha has inculcated in her and I'm very happy because she's one kid who enjoys reading or looking at a book more than she does uh, you know, in front of an iPad or something like that. I have to say, uh, Kunal, you are doing a great job being a dad uh, and you need, a, you need a high five for that. Uh, from Instagram. And I don't know, I don't know if you know a great job marketing the fact that I'm doing a great job. See the mother's mother's voice. No, but I don't know if you know, you started a trend of fathers talking to their daughters in gibberish. So, uh, that's, that's all, all kudos to you. So, I did that in my daughter as well. So, um, yeah, so and what about you? Uh, how are you? What's your plans for your daughter when it comes to books and reading? I have now stopped making plans for her ever since she developed a mind of her own. Because whatever I plan, she will have a different plan. So, I have become very wise. And I am allowing her to take the lead on most things, uh, not everything. But I think because from a young age, we were reading to her, like you're told, of course, as a new parent, you do everything by the book, literally. And they tell you to read to your child, but then the room and play classical music, and you know, Kunal used to play the guitar and sing to her. So we started from a young age, reading books lying around, letting her, you know, make selections, etc. So she was always surrounded by a lot of literature. In terms of plans for this future, I mean, I continue to encourage reading. Now she's, of course, allowed to spend time and enjoys that as well. Uh, so there's a good balance. And because we started early, I think she already has a love for books. So we don't have to start at a later stage. And of course, those rituals like that time reading. And that's actually why we wrote a story like this, because we thought it was the perfect length and the perfect kind of book to read to a child. What do bookstores mean to you all? I mean, as celebrities, do you really get to go out and visit bookstores? I mean, here, you know, whenever you want to come, we'll let our manager know, let you know when are the lean hours and you can come and really enjoy and browse the books, not like the scene today. But, uh, yes, so do you, do, you, uh, do you get to visit bookstores? What do bookstores mean to you all? I love going to a bookstore or even a library. And we didn't have that opportunity for a long time, especially during the lockdown. Uh, and the whole idea of coming, and now what I love about especially Crossword here and uh, some other bookstores is that they are more than just going in and buying a book. It's an experience. You, know, you have a coffee shop, you have interactive corners, you have a place that goes to read. So you can really make an experience out of it, which is lovely. You can browse books, you can buy every book. Um, so I like that. Uh, and again, as someone who's enjoyed reading and writing, uh, I do enjoy being a bookstore and in our summer, in that regard, we're often at bookstores. And again, it's 
just yesterday I took a night walk and we spent an hour there. Again, sat in the corner, read some books, made some purchases. It was a lovely day to spend some time. That's so nice to know. And uh, what about what have been some of your favorite books, all time favorite books? That you can I saw mine, The Kite Runner. That was actually one of my favorite books. And one of the, not the first few, but the ones that I remember, uh, The Kite Runner has been one of my favorite books. What about you? It's hard to choose a favorite, but um, I think it's one of the books that stay with you for a long time, like anything written by Julian Barnes, like Sense of an Ending. Or there's an author called Kim Kimmel, so he wrote Saturday. There's a book called Freedom by Jonathan Franzen that I remember when Gunal was asleep. I didn't want to disturb him, so I used to go to the bathroom and read. Uh, it's a fat book, and when it was getting towards the end, and it ended, I was crying in the bathroom and thinking this is such a bizarre experience, but there are books that won't even stay with you for a long time. So Jonathan Franzen and Freedom is one of those. From a, from a childhood. What do you remember your reading or some character that you remember from the book from the childhood? So that's probably stayed with you. You read about people like you uh, growing up and I mean when I was reading myself there was Nancy Blue. There was Judy Blue. Um, yeah, Chacha Chaudhry also called people. That's the word that I keep saying. I know these names also. Uh, it, lots. But even right when I think it was, you know, it was so, uh, it wrote so much. Even today I read some of them and some of them are quite strict. Some of the stories are quite strict, but I think that they have good lessons for children. Well, you know, since you're from the film world, I have to ask you this the classic question, book or the film, right? But it's always been, uh, the answer to that has always been the book, maybe some exception that the films are really, maybe like the Godfather, I don't know. So, uh, what, what, what are some of the films that you felt you enjoyed the book better than the film? You know, I think when you read a book, because your imagination is limitless and you imagine the characters the way that you do it, and sometimes you feel let down when you see the movie because it's not your vision. Uh, but you know, for example, when the Harry Potter movies came out, I really enjoyed them. Although I loved the books as well. But I wanted to see them. Those were you know, incredible experiences to see, like you said, the Godfather. There's so many incredible movies that you don't even realize that they're actually adapted from literature. Um, you know, like Fight Club and others. So there's a lot. Um, again, I think why people enjoy books, especially people who enjoy reading, is because you know there's no. You um, don't imagine it. Exactly. Great. So a new book. It looks beautiful. And uh, why don't we start by revealing the uh, the cover for everyone? You know, we haven't seen the book ourselves or you know touched wow. it as yet. Wow. So this will be a great occasion. Sit down. Sit down. Yes, I mean, I uh, have always said that I'm very good at non-fiction, and I'm 
not very good with fiction. Uh, and I don't think I ever was able to write a fictional story. And the work of this is really, uh, as I said, I used to read it when I was from books to ask for fictions, which is what I did in this imagination. And uh, I thought that that was wonderful. And the visual reference was something that she was looking for. And so that's the concept came about, and then I sort of wrote a skeleton to it. And I fleshed it out and put it in the to write it together. Uh, and it sort of went from there. We thought that this is the story of a young girl and a uh, daughter, Abhi. And it's limitless in terms of stories, in terms of the relationship, in terms of the empathy that you can you get from the book, in terms of the lessons that you can share with people, in terms of the emotions that it taps into. So we thought that this is a a wonderful thing to be able to share and truly inspired by the books in Aya and as you said, I'm not for the animals. also a pet lover? She is uh, a pet lover to the point where she thinks red writing her to is a tragedy because the books are so you know? And she just doesn't like, she's always sympathizing with the animals. She's like, grandmother, red writing her, please, why is this book going hungry? Why are they in the forest? It's his place. Okay, so I think the children are waiting for the book reading. So before that, uh, let's let's uh, have a photo of the, the cover of the book. and some had curly wordy tails like jalebis and some had no tails at all. But the one thing they had in common was that they all loved the scruffy little puppy. They looked after him and shared their treats with him when they saw that he was too shy to get his own. They taught him how to bark when he needed something but most of all they let him cuddle up to them when he had trouble falling asleep at night. Now one fine day a white car drove up outside the center and a family stepped out. First a mama, a papa, and then a little girl in a blue dress with a white sash and two plaids. Her name was Amy. Before her parents could stop her, she ran off towards the center, towards the entrance of the center, towards the sounds of dogs barking. She was very excited because they were here to adopt a dog and give it a forever home. Mama and papa wanted her to choose the puppy that she liked the most. Little Innie was so happy to see so many dogs and puppies all at once that she started to jump up and down. The pooches were also thrilled to see the little girl and they too jumped up and down, barking gleefully, woof woof. Some of the younger ones started running around in circles, chasing their own tails, which is what dogs do when they're really excited, you know. Papa took hold of Innie's hand as they walked to the fence behind which the dogs were kept. Innie crouched down and stared in wide-eyed wonder at the bundles of joy inside. So which one is it going to be? Mama asked. Just then, a little light brown pup jumped up and licked Innie's nose through the fence. He's tickling me! Innie squealed with delight and laughed loudly. I want to take them all, she said with a glint in her eyes, and play with them. It takes a lot of time. Innie looked again at the puppies and thought long and hard about what Papa was saying. Mama added, that is why we want you to find the one pen. He started to shake and held him close to her. His heart was beating so loudly in his chest, she was sure she could hear it. As Mama and Papa walked up to her, Innie said, he looks scared. Like मैं बहुत पहले आती थी जब पढ़ाई करती थी ग्रैंड मेडिकल कॉलेज में तो ये ऐसी जगह थी जब मुझे थोड़ा भी टाइम मिलता था तो मैं यहाँ आके आके बैठ जाती थी और किताबें खरीदती थी पढ़ती थी तो ये जब अब वापस से खुला है तो इट ब्रिंग्स बैक अ लॉट ऑफ मेमोरीज मुझे बहुत मेरी यादें ताज़ा हो गई है और वेल इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस सो आई इन्वाइट एवरीबडी टू कम एंड एक्सपीरियंस दिस बुक स्टोर
मैं पहले बचपन से ही काफ़ी बुक्स पढ़ते आई हूँ तो पहले मुझे फिक्शन पसंद आता था लेकिन अब मेरा जो जॉनर है पढ़ने का वो चेंज हो गया है तो अब मुझे ज़्यादा करके साइकोलॉजी बुक्स या सेल्फ इम्प्रूवमेंट बुक्स या माइंड के बारे में कोई बुक्स हो तो वो पढ़ने में बहुत मज़ा आता है मैंने आज ये दो बुक्स एक्चुअली मुझे ख़रीदी हैं एक तो सोहा की है जो आ, मेरे लिस्ट पे थी लेकिन मैं बुक स्टोर नहीं गई थी तो मैंने नहीं ख़रीदी और ये एक बहुत पुरानी बुक है लेकिन मैंने नहीं पढ़ी है तो ये आ, दो बुक्स मैं आज खरीदने वाली हूँ थैंक यू जी एक फॉन्ड मेमोरी ऐसी है कि एक बार मैं मैंने कुछ काम किया हुआ था तो द पे चेक हैड जस्ट कम दिस राइट इन द बिगिनिंग जब मैंने शुरुआत की थी मॉडलिंग की और तभी एज एन इंटर्न हमें उतना पैसा नहीं मिलता था लेकिन मॉडलिंग में मिल गया था तो मैंने उसमें से आधा पैसा बुक्स पे स्पेंड किया था इसी स्टोर में तो वो याद मेरे जहन में है I think uh, जो किताबें पढ़ते हैं दे आर पीपल हु बोरो विजडम फ्राम अदर्स तो ये सीख जो है ये मैं मेरे बच्चों में इनकल के मैंने ट्राई किया है करने का माई डॉटर्स अ रीडर माई सन इज़ नॉट दैट बिग अ रीडर लेकिन मैं होप मेरी चाह चा यही है कि वो एक दिन ही बिकम्स अ रीडर बट माई डॉटर्स एन एवेड रीडर थैंक यू थैंक यू We're very excited. We're here at Crossword in Kemp's Corner, and we are launching our book, which is called Indian Bobo. Kunal and I have written it together. Which is only available here till the 25th, and from the 25th of April, it's uh, available online and all all the other bookstores. अच्छा आपकी book है इसका एक character है जिसका नाम बिली है. क्या ये चीज़ आपके अपने बेटे से inspired हो कि आपने इसका नाम लिया? बिल्कुल उसी से inspired हुई है. मैं उसे कहानियाँ सुनाता था. और इस किताब का और इस आइडिया का जन्म भी तभी हुआ था जब मैं उसे एक ऐसी कहानी सुना रहा था और उसने कहा कि बाकी किताबों की तरह वो इन किरदारों को देख नहीं सकती थी क्योंकि ये बुक नहीं थी तब हमें आइडिया आया कि हमें एक बुक बनानी चाहिए तो डेफिनेटली इट्स इंस्पायर बाय हाउ ओके कहानी में एनिमल लव एंड कैसे आप करें एंड नॉट टू बाय <laughs> the idea was क्योंकि इनाया एक्चुअली um, को बहुत प्यार है जानवरों से एंड इस्पेशली वी वॉन्टेड टू इंकरेज द आइडिया ऑफ अडॉप्ट एंड डोंट शॉप बिकॉज देर लॉट्स ऑफ एनिमल्स दैट आर लुकिंग फॉर होम सो इन सेट ऑफ बाइंग यू कैन एक्चुअली गिव दम अ होम एंड दिस कैरेक्टर लाइक अ डॉटर लव्स ऑल एनिमल्स एंड सो इट्स इंस्पायर बाई दैट इज वाई नो दिस इज़ द फर्स्ट कॉपी आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड कि आज आपको उसको जाके फोटोज़ के साथ दिखाऊंगा उसमें कहानी तो सुनी हुई है बिकॉज आई narrated this story to her a couple of times but today is the first time that she look at the pictures also how is her reaction to it uh, that's what you have to see abhi tak abhi tak unhone picture ye picture book nahi dekha hai she's just heard the story bahut lamba sa i i don't know see i can mera bachpana bilkul waisa hi tha jaise main age group ke bachcho ka tha normal upbringing thi तब जब एक्टिंग करते थे वो एक हॉबी थी लेकिन उसके अलावा बाकी लाइफ स्टाइल बिल्कुल ऐसा था सभी दोस्तों के साथ शाम को क्रिकेट खेलना या लंगड़ी खेलना या खो खो खेलना जस्ट नॉर्मल रेगुलर चाइल्ड हुड मेरा भी चाइल्ड हुड बहुत ही नॉर्मल और रेगुलर था जैसे हमारे आसपास के लोग थे और uh, मैं जानती हूँ कि कुछ प्रिवलेज था हमारे लाइफ में बट आई डोंट थिंक आर पेरेंट्स एवर मेड अस अवेयर ऑफ दैट काफ़ी डिसिप्लिन था हमारे घर में uh, किताबें पढ़ने का बहुत शौक़ था कहानी सुनाने का बहुत शौक़ था हम इतने बॉलीवुड uh, से एक्सपोज नहीं थे क्योंकि हम शायद दिल्ली में रहते थे एंड एजुकेशन वॉज ऑलवेज प्रायोरिटी आई रिमेंबर विनिंग ए शूलियस टाइम कॉम्पिटिशन जब मैं पाँच साल की थी दैट वॉज अ बिग मोमेंट इन माई लाइफ आई रिमेंबर विनिंग बेस्ट इन स्पोर्ट्स इन माई क्लास जब मैं कुछ पांच गोल्ड मेडल और दो सिल्वर मेडल जीता था तो मुझे लगा था भाई कर ली दुनिया मुठ्ठी में